Hello everyone. This is 12th MCQ. So in this time of MCQ, a 2 months old infant presents with paler in the OPD. In history part, birth history was not significant. No event was there. Birth weight was 3.2 kg. Now the weight at 2 months of age is 4.7 kg. In feeding history, baby was on demand breastfeeding. In blood investigation, MCV is 81 femtoliter and hemoglobin 9 gram per dl. So what can be the cause of anemia in a 2 months old infant? So the options are iron deficiency, B12 deficiency, physiological anemia of infancy and diamond black one anemia. So on the basis of the history part and MCV and hemoglobin, it suggests MCV is suggesting that it is normocytic because between 80 to 100 femtoliter we consider the normocytic, normal MCV. Less than 80 considered as a microcytic and more than 100 considered as a macrocytic. Hemoglobin 9 gram per dl means having the mild anemia. So between 9 to 11 we consider as a mild and between 7 to 9 we consider as a moderate and less than 7 gram per dl we consider as a severe anemia. So go one by one. In iron deficiency anemia we know it is microcytic hypochromic anemia. So MCV is normal, iron deficiency is ruled out. Now second option is B12 deficiency. B12 deficiency will lead to the macrocytic anemia. So again it is normocytic so it is ruled out. Now the physiological anemia of infancy. This anemia appear in infant in a full term delivery then between 8 to 12 weeks of age. If preterm then anemia appear little bit earlier than the full term baby because they are having the uh, less store of the iron according to the maturity. So physiological of anemia of infancy develop in preterm baby around 3 to 4 weeks of age. And physiological anemia is normocytic. So the right answer for this is C. Now in the diamond black fan anemia it is macrocytic anemia. I will tell you the detail of diamond black fan and physiological anemia of infancy both. So the right answer for this MCQ is C. Now the learning point for this MCQ. Physiological of anemia of infancy, etiology, hemoglobin F convert to the hemoglobin A during birth to till the 3 to 6 month of life. And we know the short survival of RBC of premature infant. 40 to 60 days instead of 120 days in adult. So RBC survival is also short and down regulation of erythropoietin because kidney function are not mature in the infant and they slowly mature enough and erythropoietin secretion is not sufficient enough in the first three months of life. So the down regulation of erythropoietin also lead to the physiological anemia of infancy. So all these are the causes of physiological anemia and it appears in all healthy even in full terms baby. So it present in full term baby Hemoglobin will be between 9 to 11 gram per dl between 8 to 12 weeks of age. So whenever infant between 2 to 3 months of age coming with the paler, we should think first physiological anemia of infancy. We should go for the investigation also to see the is it normocytic or some other anemia. In preterm baby, they develop the Hemoglobin between 7 to 9 gram per dl because of physiological changes between 3 to 6 weeks of age. In diamond black one anemia, it is the congenital hypoplastic anemia and 90% cases present in first year of life, mostly between 2 to 6 months of age. So during this age group, we should also keep in mind diamond black one anemia as a differential diagnosis. Etiology, it is sporadic in some of the cases and sometimes it is inherited due to the mutation in 
DBA1 gene for the ribosomal protein S19 on chromosome 19Q13. In more than 50% case, they are having the congenital anomalies including short stature, craniofacial dimorphism, or defect of upper extremities including triphalangeous thumb, syndactyly, all can be present in 50% cases. In investigation, it is macrocytic anemia. So, MCV more than 100 femtoliter. Reticulocyte counts decreased. Hemoglobin F concentration is increased with the DBA and increased RBC ADA activity. When you will go for bone marrow examination, it will show the markedly reduced RBC precursor and other element of the bone marrow are normal. For further learning, you can watch the video on approach to a case of anemia on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much.